Okay? Now, we can take that a step further. And I went to the G sharp, which is the seven. So I went from the three to the seven. Welcome back to another episode of Chord Crush Thursdays, where every week we get into a new chord or chord progression. So make sure you do yourself a favor and subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. That way you don't miss out on any of the future videos. And also do us a favor, help us get this video to a thousand likes. You liking this video really helps us to grow. And if you like our content, that's absolutely free for you and it helps us, all right? So thanks for tuning in once again. On the last video, I always ask you what key do you think we should be in? So in this video, we're gonna stay in the key of A major and I'm gonna show you a chord progression that I actually like to go to the four or you can pull many ideas from this chord progression, all right? And it sounds like this. Okay, so I know it seems like a lot going on. I'm in a key of A major. And um, before we break that down, let's check out the number system and scale so we can get some foundation, all right? So here we go. So A is the one, B is the two, C sharp is the three, D is the four, E is the five, F sharp is the six, G sharp is the seven, and then we're back at the one, A. So that's our number system scale for the key of A major. So for those of you who are new to the Chord Crush Thursdays episode, we always have the foundation, which is the scale. And that's what we use to identify the chord progression. So the left hand is what actually plays the chord progression. So if I say we're going to go to the five, that would mean the left hand is going to go to the E. And then the right hand will play the corresponding chord that works with that. If I say we're going to go to the four, the left hand will go to the D, right? So the left hand really orchestrates the chord progression when we call out the number system, and then the right hand is gonna play uh, the right chords that correspond with the chord progression, all right? So um, the chord progression that I did once again, um, it sounded like this. Okay, we started with that, and then I went. And then I did this. And then you can go a lot of different places. Okay? So the idea of this chord progression is not to actually put you in a specific place, but give you ideas of things that you could do using different techniques that are built into this chord progression itself. So the first idea that I did was I went like this. Okay? So what that is is... The chord progression itself that I'm thinking about doing is going from the five to the four. And I'm thinking minor on the five, okay? So this would be a E minor nine chord. I got E, B, and D in the left hand, and then G, B, D, and F sharp in the right hand, okay? So it's like going from the five to the four, okay? So on the four, what I have is a D major nine chord. I got D, A, and C sharp in the left hand, and then F sharp. A, C sharp, and E, okay? So that's going from a minor on the five to a major on the four, okay, right? But when we go from the five to the four, what I did was I took this minor chord and I played it different. I brought the F sharp down here, okay? So now it kind of looks like that, right? And then when I go to the four, this chord right here, I changed the chord to as well. So instead of playing F sharp, A, C sharp, and E, I took the top note and brought it down here. So going from here to here, which is a five, four chord progression, I did the same chord progression, but I ended up changing the voicings. I did it like this. So this alone could be something that could be used. You can go from the five minor, and then you can go to the three to the six. You can go there. 
Um, you can go, actually, you can go from the five to the four to the one. You can go five, one. You can go minor on the five. So a lot of people don't even know that when you go to the five, a lot of people think dominant, but this is the, some of the ideas that I want you to see. And that's why we do this chord Chris Thursdays. Some ideas can be used a lot of different ways. So although I'm showing you a, a chord progression, there's things that you can take out of that. So what I just did right there, right? This minor chord on the five, I took it and instead of playing it full like I did before, I took out the B. So this is an E minor nine chord, but now I'm, I'm omitting the B from my right hand. So now the next step is, okay, I'm thinking a whole step up first and then a whole step and then come back down. So basically a whole step up from E is F sharp. So I'm taking this chord idea and I'm going up a whole step first, okay? So you, you can actually play the bass if you want to, okay? And then go to the four. So it's really up to you. Okay? But basically, I went to the F sharp to the E, okay? So another thing you could do is not play the bass note and play that F sharp. And this is an F sharp minor nine. It's the same idea that we did on E, but up a whole step, right? But you can take that same concept, remove the C sharp, and play G sharp, A, and E, and then bring that back down a whole step to E, like this, okay? So we're, we're going to the five, but I'm just showing you a different way to get there using a different voicing that's a whole step up. Um, it's the same chord, but it's more of the clustered voicing like we did on the E, it's the same thing. So if we take this up a half step and take it up another half step, you'll see it's the same chord, okay? Okay? So then we go, and then I'm using the melody, A to B, and then I'm playing a chord on the four. So, okay. So now on the four, what I got is D, A, C sharp in the left hand, and then E, F sharp, A, and C sharp. Okay? Now from here, you can go many different places. You can go, let me see. You can go up to the one, right? From the four to the one. And what I did right there was I played E and D in the left hand and then G sharp, C sharp, and F sharp. So I'm showing you different places you can go from here. Okay, this is an E dominant 13 chord. And then we're gonna go to the one. And I have A, C sharp, and F sharp in the left hand, and then B, C sharp, E, and G sharp. So this is an A major nine, and I have the added um, six or 13 in here, okay? But you don't necessarily have to go there. You can go from the four, or you can go to the six. So you can go from the four to the six, right? Or from the four to the one. But if we go from the four to the six, that's pretty much the same chord that we started with. This one right here. So you can go back there. Well, what if we used another passing chord? You can go from the three to the six, which is that C sharp to the F sharp, which is very common in gospel music. And you can play a sharp five, sharp nine chord. Right? So it'll sound like this. Okay, I did the same idea, but higher. Okay. So yeah, that's the same idea. So on the C sharp, that's the three. What I have a C sharp and B in the left hand, and then F, A, B, and E in the right. This is a C sharp seven with a sharp five, sharp nine. Okay? So now we're gonna use this to go to the chord on the six. Now one thing about the six is you should know that it's minor, so you have a lot of different options. If you know minor sevenths, if you know minor nines, minor elevenths, think about the ideas of the chord voicings that you know and, ex and experiment with those. So on the, on the six, you can do that too, but I'm not. <laughs> 
you can play F sharp and E in the left hand, and then G sharp, A, C sharp, and E. And I'm showing you this chord because we're gonna go from the three to the six, okay? Like that. Or you can go from the three and then play another voicing on the six, which is the same as this, but it's just more spread out open. It's the same type of chord, but voiced differently. So now I have F sharp, C sharp, and E in the left hand, and then A, B, C sharp, E, and G sharp, okay? So that's the three to the six. So, you know, this is the type of things that you can play in talk music or while it's service is flowing. So that you could look at that as a way to get to the to the four, if you just want to end up on the four, if you want to take it up a step further, you can look at this whole chord progression as a way to get to the six tone. So it all depends on your perspective. You can look at, okay, I want to go to the four. What's a different way that I can get there? Usually we'll go from the one to the four, right? But a lot of people don't go five minor to the four. So that's another idea. Alone, if you carp, carp, I can't even say the word, carpartmentalize, <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say? If we go from the five to the four and just isolate that idea, right? Just going from the five to the four with a five minor, that's its own idea within itself. Right? Or you can go from the, from the four and then keep going and then go to the six. But instead of going straight to the six, go to the three to the six, right? So it's all up to you. And then from here, if you want to keep going even more, you can go back to the four, right? So let's see. I basically went back to the four, but I added another passing chord, which is a one to the four. So I did this. Right? So there's many different ideas, but if you can you want to go straight to the four, you can get rid of the passing chord, but I'll break that down too as well. So that's the five to the four. And then you can go to the one if you want to. Right? So that's the one chord progression. And I'm just showing you different ways to veer off. Like you have something, but then you can make a left, you can make, it's like having options of directions that you want to go. So once you go to the five, to the four. Now, when you get to the four, you can go to the one, you can go to the six. Um, there's many, and I'll show you another different way after you go to the six, right? But let's see. Right? And then I said you can go to the one. So, I'm not, yeah, that's the one right here. But it's more as a passing chord. Or, so when you go to the one, it's gonna take you back to the four. But the idea is you can get back to the four, and I don't want to confuse you guys because this is a lot going on, but I'm showing you different directions and different things that you could do. All right, so I, don't, I hope I'm not confusing anybody, but we're going to go to the four after that, okay? So once we get to the sixth tone, we can go back to the four and whatever way you want to get there, but I'm pretty much ending back on some type of D major nine chord. Um, you can go one four if you want to. I don't think I like that. Okay, and I did a, a A13 chord on the one going to the four, so I used the A13 as a passing chord. Okay, right? So these are different voicings that you could do. Now, if we wanted to go from the six and go somewhere totally different. We can actually go to the three, and I'll show you how that sounds. So, let me see. And you don't always have to go. So the idea is I'm going to the minor on the five, but I was just showing you this as an example, but you can actually change the entire voicing that we are playing on the five and play it like this. It's still minor. Okay, so it's the same concept, but it's more of an open, spread out voicing instead of this. 
It's the same chord, but it's wider. Whoops, that was nasty. <laughs> and I don't think I like the whole step up from there. It could work. But when we go to the six, we can go to the three. And I really like that. So let me put that in context. So I went from the six, and I used melody, F sharp to E. And I'm using F sharp as a grace note too. So when I go to the three, I have C sharp, G sharp, and E in the left hand, and then F sharp, G sharp, B, and D sharp. And I'm gonna do that one more time because my computer uh, is tripping. Okay? Now we can take that a step further. And I went to the G sharp, which is the seven. So I went from the three to the seven. And I have G sharp, F sharp, and B in the left hand. And then D sharp, C, I'm sorry, <laughs> D sharp. I said it again. <laughs> C sharp, D sharp, F sharp, and A sharp. These sharps is crazy. So if you haven't noticed, I went minor on the three, and I have a minor 11 chord. And then I go to the G sharp, which is the two, and I have a minor chord as well. So. And then to the G sharp. And then now we're gonna go use the melody, G sharp to F sharp. And now I'm gonna go to the D sharp bass. And this one is not necessarily in the key. This is like a circular movement. So that's more so what we call a circular chord progression. That's moving in what we call fifths. So if we start on the sixth tone, which is the F sharp, um, if we think about the F sharp major scale, what's the fifth tone of, of F sharp or G flat? It's D flat. Right, so that's going to the fifth of this bass note. Thinking about the scale of G flat or F sharp. So the fifth tone of the scale of G sharp or F, I'm sorry, G flat or F sharp is C sharp, also known as D flat. And then if we think about the D flat major scale or C sharp major scale, the fifth tone of this is A flat. And if we think about this scale, the fifth tone of A flat or G sharp is E flat. So it's moving in force but it's the same chord. Okay, and that's how we get that. And then you can go back to the four. So the idea is just showing you this, how you can take the five and go to the four and then go to other different places. But these are just ideas I wanna implant in your head. Thanks for watching this episode of Core Press Thursdays. God bless. Hopefully you guys join us on the next one. Hit that like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I see you on the next one. Peace.